So here we are, just one small section of the switchboard from Enfield Telephone Exchange, yeah. as it was in the manual era. It's going on show in the Science Museum to represent Enfield in 1960. I'm one of a, a team of actors who work at the Science Museum. I've been asked to prepare the role of a telephonist from Enfield Exchange in 1960. So I've been developing the character based on research. So these are three positions then for three operators to sit at. You have to keep your elbows to yourself, don't you? Otherwise, that's you right. Be popular. So if I was the operator yes. at this board, mm -hmm. those would be my subscribers, so I'd be speaking to them possibly quite regularly. Well, regular callers, of course, would, would get to know the voices of the operators. Yeah. The manual switchboard meant that it had this human feel about it. Of course, the supervisors were really quite strict. They wanted to make sure that their girls were sort of behaving decorously yeah. and properly in the switchroom. Yeah. I've heard some stories saying, well, you can't say loo or no. lavatory. So they would actually put their hand up mm. and mm. ask for an urgent. <laughs> that, that's right, isn't it? I think that's right. I was trying to think what the word is. Yes, it's an urgent. urgent. There's not yes. only the etiquette, is there? There's the elocution and how the ladies... Oh, yes, you were trained. There was a process. You couldn't engage in conversation. The operators, working so close together, mm. they generally built up quite a bit of teamwork. So you could imagine when the time came to convert Enfield away from manual to automatic, it, it must have been a bit traumatic. Absolutely. It's the people that you're working with and that interaction. It was at a time when people tended to stay in a job and so it, it mattered a lot more to them mm. that, they, that something rather special was breaking up. So the time came in October 1960, the calls gradually died away and all the plugs were cleared and they said, all clear. Within a minute or two, the switchboard which had been alive was now dead. A few moments later, they cut in the new auto. And at that time, all the switchboard operators pushed back their chairs, came out into the middle of the room and joined hands and they all sang, old Lang Syne. It's a very emotional, very dramatic sort of yes. story, isn't it? Yes. But what it shows is that people cared. As some of them said, behind each of these jacks is a human being. <laughs>